ever sent a crypto transaction and just waited. You tap send and then nothing. Seconds feel like minutes as you stare at your phone, wondering if your money is lost in the digital void. You watch the screen, refresh, and it's still pending. The spinning wheel taunts you, and you start to wonder if you should try again or just give up. Then you see the fee. It's more than your coffee. Sometimes, it's even more than what you're trying to send. This is one of crypto's biggest hurdles. Slow, expensive transactions. It's like paying a premium just to wait in line. Imagine a single-lane highway at rush hour. That's Ethereum or Bitcoin during peak times. Digital traffic jams where everyone's stuck, honking for space. For crypto to go mainstream, it needs to be fast and cheap. No one's paying $20 to buy a $5 ticket. If it's not easy and affordable, people will stick to old-school payment apps. The original blockchains, Layer 1, are built for security and decentralization, not speed. They're like armored trucks, super safe, but not built for racing. So how do we get the speed of a payment app without losing blockchain security? Is it possible to have both, speed and trust? The answer, build solutions on top of the existing system like adding express lanes to a crowded highway. These new lanes let transactions zoom past the traffic. With NFTs, DeFi and blockchain gaming demand has exploded. The old system can't keep up with all the new possibilities and users flooding in. The community realized we needed a clever upgrade without tearing down the foundation. We needed a way to scale up, not start over. That upgrade is called Layer 2. It's the next step for crypto, faster, cheaper, and ready for everyone. So, what is Layer 2? You've probably heard the term thrown around in crypto conversations, but what does it really mean and why does it matter? Let's stick with the highway analogy to make things simple and visual. If layer 1 is the main highway where all the cars travel, layer 2 is like a network of express lanes built right alongside it, designed for speed and efficiency. Instead of every car crowding the main road, many can exit onto these faster lanes, bypassing traffic jams, and then merge back only when it's time to finalize their trip. Technically, Layer 2 is a protocol or technology built on top of a blockchain, allowing transactions to be handled off the main chain, reducing congestion and costs. It's a bit like opening a tab with a friend at a cafe. Track all your small exchanges off-chain and only settle the final balance on-chain when you're done. This approach gives you fast, cheap transactions while still inheriting the robust security of the main blockchain so you don't have to compromise on safety. Layer 2 networks periodically report back to Layer 1, anchoring their state and transaction history for maximum security and transparency. The ultimate goal? To scale blockchain so they can handle thousands, even tens of thousands of transactions per second, rivaling the speed of credit card networks and traditional payment systems. Thanks to Layer 2, blockchain, blockchain technology can now power apps and services that are just as fast and seamless as anything you use on the web today. To understand Layer 2's importance, meet the scalability trilemma blockchains can only optimize for two of three, decentralization, security, scalability, if you boost speed, you risk centralization or weaker security, if you maximize security and decentralization you get slow, expensive transactions. Bitcoin and Ethereum chose security and decentralization, sacrificing speed. Layer 2 is the workaround let Layer 1 focus on security and decentralization, while Layer 2 handles speed. By moving most transactions off-chain, Layer 2 sidesteps the trilemma. It's a clever way to scale without compromising the core blockchain. Layer 2 isn't about replacing Layer 1, it's about making it practical for everyone. That's why it's such a game-changer. Let's dive into a real-world example, Bitcoin's Lightning Network, a breakthrough technology designed to solve some of Bitcoin's biggest challenges. Its main goal, to enable instant, tiny Bitcoin payments with almost zero fees, making everyday transactions practical and affordable for everyone. Imagine, you and your roommate want to split expenses. You open a Lightning Channel together, locking up some Bitcoin on the main blockchain as a kind of digital escrow. Now, you can send Bitcoin back and forth instantly off chain as many times as you want no waiting no high fees and no need to record every transaction on the blockchain at the end of the month you close the channel only the final balance reflecting all those transactions is recorded on the main blockchain so dozens or even hundreds of transactions become just two entries on layer one one to open and one to close the channel 
This dramatically slashes blockchain congestion and reduces transaction fees for everyone using Bitcoin. The Lightning Network forms a vast web of payment channels so you don't need a direct connection to every person you want to pay. Payments can be routed through other users' channels, creating a massive instant payment network that spans the globe. This is Layer 2 utility in action, fast, cheap, and built on the rock-solid security of Bitcoin's blockchain. For Ethereum and smart contracts, another Layer 2 solution shines rollups. Rollups bundle hundreds or thousands of transactions into one compressed package. This package is posted to the main chain, like mailing one envelope instead of hundreds. Apps like NFT marketplaces and DeFi platforms send their transactions to a rollup, which processes them off-chain. The rollup posts a summary to Ethereum, inheriting its security, but saving massive space and cost. Users get fast, cheap transactions while the main chain stays secure. Rollups can handle complex smart contracts, not just payments. Networks like Arbitrum and Optimism are rollups powering huge ecosystems. It's like turbocharging Ethereum. More speed, less cost, same security. That's why rollups are the future for scaling smart contract blockchains. Rollups come in two main types. Optimistic and Zero Knowledge (ZK) rollups. Both bundle transactions but differ in how they prove validity to the main chain. Optimistic rollups assume transactions are valid, with a challenge period for fraud detection. If someone spots a bad transaction they can challenge it and get it reversed. ZK rollups use cryptography to prove every transaction is valid before posting to layer 1. No need for a challenge period, validity is proven up front. Optimistic rollups are easier to build with today, but withdrawals take longer. ZK rollups offer faster finality and higher security, but are more complex. ZK tech is advancing fast, and many see it as the future of scaling. Both are powerful, just different approaches to the same problem. So, what's the big takeaway? Layer 2 makes blockchain practical for real life. It's the bridge from niche tech to something billions can use daily. With Layer 2, blockchains can finally compete on speed and cost. For users, it's seamless. Apps run faster, fees drop, and transactions just work. You don't need to know the tech, you'll just notice crypto is suddenly easy. Layer 2 is powering the next wave of user-friendly crypto apps. These solutions are live, handling billions, and supporting vibrant ecosystems. They prove you can have decentralization and scalability. The future of crypto is about building and using a better, more open internet. And Layer 2 is paving the superhighway to get us there.